last period we had seen the adjustment related to private purchases then uh, capital expenditure incurred in revenue expenditure okay so then we completed one question then we are doing one more question so up to gross profit it is over up to gross profit so we got gross profit 24190 by gross profit b bar d 24190 next sir we will write the profit and loss account item salary so salary is given 1590 so adjustment also there to salary to salary 1590 add outstanding salary add outstanding salary it is given in the adjustment 350 350 okay so 1000 940 okay outstanding salary then we can write other items office rent no other adjustment to office rent to office rent 820 next insurance insurance adjustment is there insurance to insurance 1440 insurance insurance 1440 and outstanding insurance add outstanding insurance outstanding insurance 100 1540 next uh, cleaning charges no adjustment to cleaning charges to cleaning charges 940 next salary over gas water other distributing account employee patent balance sheet asset over now credit side no item now we will look adjustment first uh, doubtful debt you look that uh, in the trial balance no bad debt you look in the trial balance any bad debt no so what we'll do normally we are adding so we have to write to provision for new provision for new provision for doubtful debt so new provision for doubtful debt new provision for doubtful debt it is given it is calculated at 5 percentage on sundry debtors at 5 percentage on sundry debtors sundry debtor is 9600 into 5 percentage okay so 480 okay 480 new provision so here no old provision if it is old provision we can minus no old provision so if example ask 
any journal entry about the adjustment. Suppose closing stock, what is journal entry? Closing stock account to trading account. Closing stock account to trading account. Suppose uh, outstanding salary, what is journal entry? With the salary, we have to add salary account to balance sheet liability, no? Salary account to outstanding salary. Suppose commission received in advance, what is entry? Commission received in advance liability, so the liability credit. So commission account to commission received in advance. Accrued interest, accrued interest, accrued income, accrued income, asset only. So uh, uh, accrued interest account to interest. Then, uh, uh, then any other adjustment, bad debt, further bad debt. Bad debt means it is sure that uh, amount we won't get. So bad debt account to sundry debtor. Bad debt account to sundry debtor. But provision for discount on debtor, provision for doubtful debt means from profit and loss account we are taking the amount. So entry will be, this is a profit and loss account, debit. So profit and loss account to provision for doubtful debt. Profit and loss account to provision for discount on debtor. Okay. But if it is a further bad debt means, further bad debt means what? It is sure the amount we won't get from that. Uh, so bad debt, further bad debt account to bad debt. I am telling bad debt inside the relevance bad debt account to bad debt account to sundry debtor. But here means here further bad debt new provision uh, provision for discount on debtor means profit loss account to provision for doubtful debtor profit loss account to provision for discount on debtor. Okay, so that is the general entry. So provision for doubtful debt over. So second adjustment you have to look. I will revise outstanding wages already we wrote outstanding salary we already we wrote. Third adjustment, factory rent prepaid, already V minus uh, from trading account, depreciation, okay? We have to write depreciation. So to depreciation on, to depreciation on plant and missionary, plant and missionary. Depreciation on plant and missionary. So we have to look at plant and missionary, 3,600, 3,600, 5% age. So 180. Next to depreciation on, to depreciation on building, to depreciation on building. To depreciation on building 10 percentage building it is given 24,000 building it is given 24,000 in the trial balance 10 percentage so 2400 2400 okay next we have to look at last adjustment outstanding insurance we already we wrote outstanding insurance over Okay, now we will balance. So you have to look which side is more. Credit side is more twenty four thousand one ninety twenty four thousand one ninety. You have to write to net profit transfer to capital account. Twenty four thousand one ninety. Thousand one ninety to net profit transfer to capital account twenty four Final answer, net 
net profit Balance amount eighteen thousand fifty. Eighteen thousand fifty. Any other answer? Abarna? Sir, fifteen thousand eight ninety. Fifteen thousand eight ninety. Yes. Karthik, you check. Fifteen thousand eight ninety. Debit side total eight thousand three hundred. So it will be fifteen thousand eight ninety. Debit side eight thousand three hundred. Okay. Now balance sheet. Karthik, Karna? Sir, I am getting 18,050. 18,000. Debit say total 8,300. No? Look, 1,940, 820, 1,540, 940, 480. Yes, sir. Uh, one zero mistake was there. Okay, okay. Okay, fifteen thousand eight ninety. Fifteen thousand eight ninety. Now balance sheet. Balance sheet as on. Balance sheet as on thirty first March two thousand fourteen. So first sum reductor. You have to look any cash in hand. Cash in hand is there. So normally we are writing cash in hand first. Cash in hand. Liability said bank over draft. 2160. 2160. Then sundry debtor. We will write. Sundry debtor. 9600. Only one adjustment less. New provision, new provision for doubtful debt. New provision for doubtful debt. So already we calculated 480. 480. So 9,120. 9,120. Okay, next, next item building. Build, building that is fixed asset building 24,000 you have to look any adjustment yes adjustment is there depreciation depreciation 2400 for 22 21,600 next year. After building plant and missionary, 
plant and missionary also depreciation is there plant and missionary plant and missionary plant and missionary amount it is given 3600 less depreciation so already we calculated then we wrote in the profit loss account 180 okay 3,500, 3,420. Okay, 3,420. Then plant admission cash in hand over furniture, 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 any depreciation, nothing it is there. So directly we can write furniture. 20,540, 20,540. Next patent. Patent intangible assets. Last we will write patent. Patent intangible assets. The right to exclude others from producing a particular product. Rights. It is intangible assets. That is, uh, uh, assets said only. No adjustment. Patent. Now, credit said, credit is it is given. So no adjustment. If a provision for discount on creditor is there, we have to minus. Like a provision for discount on debtor. Next adjustment is that only. Okay. Sundry creditors. Sundry creditors, 2,500. Next, uh, bills payable. Bills payable. Bills payable, 15,600. 15,600, next capital. Capital, 42,000. Then uh, net profit, uh, net profit. Then add net profit. Fifteen thousand eight ninety. Any drawings? Debit said any drawings, drawings, adjust with any drawings, nothing. So uh, 57. 57. 57,890. Okay, capital add net profit. Here no drawings is there. Inside the trial balance also, adjustment also. Now we will look each adjustment. First, doubt, uh, provision for doubtful debt already we wrote. Outstanding wages, where it will come? And it's outstanding wages, where? Uh, liabilities. Yes, outstanding wages. Then, outstanding, outstanding wages and outstanding salary. Outstanding wages, 500. Outstanding salary, 350. Next, uh, third one, factory rent prepaid. Factory rent prepaid. Atul, prepaid factory rent. Where it will come? Prepaid. Prepaid expenses. Yes, sir. Factory rent prepaid. Factory rent prepaid. 100. There is prepaid factory and anything you can write. Fourth one, depreciation. We already we wrote in both assets. Then outstanding insurance. That is outstanding expense. Outstanding expense. Pavitra, where it will come? Asset or liability. Outstanding. Outstanding insurance. Liability, outstanding insurance, outstanding insurance, hundred. 
Over. Find out the total. Ancho, mute your microphone. So you have to check the both side. Suppose if your answer is, if your tra your trading and profiles account is correct means you look only the one side. Which side is, amount is less there you have right. So it will be correct. So if you have no time, if you have the time means you have to check the both side. Over. Amount okay. Total. Karthik total? Sir, 76,940. Yes, 76,940. Okay, so next, we will start the next adjustment. So provision for discount on debtor over, nine over. Next one, provision for discount on creditors, opposite of provision for discount on debtors. So we'll complete this all adjustment provision for discount on creditors what do you mean by provision for discount on creditors 
so first case means our loss only next year we have to give if they make the payment within a time okay here means here means we will get means prompt payment to the creditors suppose we purchased goods on credit from any person suppose if you are making the so now uh, which one uh, february only which one we made the transaction credit period is 3 uh, month so if we make the payment within that period if you make a prompt payment we will get a discount so it is next year only we will receive but this transaction is related to the current year so we will write this year as an income okay so uh, we will make a provisions from the profit and loss account this amount we will get as an income okay because the transaction is made uh, this year only during the current year only so to ascertain the actual profit and loss of the current year we have to include that also okay so that is a provision for discount on creditor so journal entry will be uh, provision for discount on creditor account to profit and loss account provision for discount on creditor account to profit and loss account so a provision is made in the profit and loss account of the year for an anticipated coming amount of discount to be received from the creditors in the subsequent year so the provision so made in the profit and loss account is an income and called provision for discount on creditor so it is uh, the it is treated as an income so we will shown in the profit and loss account credit side okay so that is provision for discount on creditor so what is the effect first it will shown on the profit and loss account credit side and uh, it is shown by way of deduction from the sundry creditors on the liability side of the balance sheet on the liability side of the balance sheet that is the effects so same only opposite provision for disc uh, uh, discount on debtor means what we are doing debit side profit and loss account debit side we are writing journal entry will be profit and loss account to provision for provision for uh, discount on debtor but if it is a provision for discount on creditor means uh, it is income so profit and loss account credit side and balance sheet from creditor from creditor so uh, that no need to pay now that we will get a discount so correct creditor how much only from creditor it is 10000 creditor amount so we uh, next year we will get to 300 discount means correct how much only our liability 9700 okay that is which one uh, provision for discount on creditor so i will show that if i suppose in the trial balance trial balance it is given so if you want you can write creditor so trial balance creditor it is given which said credit said it is given 50000 okay then adjustments adjustments it is given provision for provision for discount on creditor provision for discount on creditors at the rate of 1% at the rate of 1% okay it is related to creditor only so what is the effect so whenever we prepare profit and loss account profit and loss account credit side by provision for no need to add nothing provision for discount on creditor for calculating provision for discount on credit no need to deduct further credit further bad debt like that provision for discount on debt means sundry debt minus further bad debt minus new provision into percentage no need to like that creditor so 50000 into on the base of creditor only into 1 percentage okay then balance sheet balance sheet liability side liabilities balance sheet liabilities what we have to do sundry creditors sundry creditors 
fifty thousand less provision for sorry, provision for discount on creditor provision for discount on creditor five hundred so forty nine thousand five hundred. Okay, so it is calculated on the base of creditors. Percentage will give. So it is a treated as income gain. So profit and loss account credit side. Then from creditor we have to minus. From creditor we have to minus. There is provision for discount on creditors. Clear? I think that no, just. We have to look any question. It is related to provision for discount and creditor. Not there. Okay, if it is there, you can do. Okay, understand now. From creditor only, profit and loss account credit side. Then uh, in the balance sheet liability side, from creditor, you have to minus provision for discount on credit. Next. Next. Interest on capital. Interest on capital. The last interest on drawings only. Interest on capital. So we know that. What do you mean by capital? What do you mean by capital? Anjo, what do you mean by capital? Investment. Yes, amount invested by the owner into the business. That is called capital. So according to business entity concept. It is treated as loan given by the owner to the business. So it is uh, equitable to give interest on the capital contributed by the owner. Okay. So in the company point of view, it is an expense. Company point of view, it is an expense because company how to give interest on the capital because they must simply the owners won't invest any amount in the business. So they have to get anything. So interest will be allowed on the owners, uh, to the owners on the capital contributed by him. So what is the effect? So it is treated as it is an expense. So profit and loss account debit said. So it is calculated on the base of opening capital. Thing is that it is calculated on the base of opening capital, opening capital. Okay, it is calculated on the base of opening capital. Then what is the effect of in the balance sheet? In the balance sheet, you look at, suppose, uh, whenever you write the capital, add net profit. If net pro profit arises, the owner's amount will increase. Capital, we know, amount invested by the owners. That is the owner's amount only. If it is net profit is there, their amount will increase. Correct? If any drawings is there, their amount will decrease. Suppose interest on capital is there, whether their amount will increase or decrease. Karthik, if interest on capital is given to the owners, decrease. How? You invested 1 lakh amount as a capital. So net profit. So we know that add net profit with the capital. Suppose 10,000, then if it is drawings, you withdrawn from the uh, amount from capital, you have to minus. If it is interest on capital, company will give interest on capital to you. So your amount will increase. Increase. Okay. Suppose drawings and interest on drawings. So interest on drawings case means your amount will decrease, but interest on capital, your amount will increase. One lakh into that percentage. Okay. So first profit loss account debit side, profit loss account debit side, and with the capital, you have to add. I will show that. Suppose capital, it is given in the trial balance, one lakh. Then adjustment, adjustments. Interest on capital, interest on capital, 
at the rate of 5 percentage at the rate of 5 percentage so first it will come profit and loss account profit and loss it is a we are recording the transaction according to company's point of view not honest so two two to interest on capital to interest on capital to interest on capital so 50 uh, no 1 lakh 1 lakh into 5 percentage so 5000 5000 then balance sheet balance sheet liability capital 1 lakh so net profit add net profit plus drawings you know okay capital add net profit then add so how to show first add net profit or net loss adjust then add interest on capital add interest on capital okay capital add interest on capital interest on capital okay capital add net profit add interest on cap uh, add interest on capital less drawings less interest on drawings okay capital so whatever suppose if net profit it is there whether their capital increase or decrease their amount will increase add net profit add interest on capital less drawings less interest on drawings okay so interest on capital profit and loss account debit side then from balance sheet from balance sheet uh, with the capital you have to add capital you have to add okay that is interest on capital then interest on drawings okay after this i will stop tomorrow i will teach manager's commission okay interest on drawings interest on drawings same like what do you mean by drawings we know amount withdrawn by the owner for his personal use from the capital for the personal use that is drawings so here company will charge interest same like interest is given to the uh, which one owners same like they will charge the company will charge the executable that the business must get interest for the drawings also so in the company point of view company point of view it is a income profit and loss account credit side profit and loss account credit side it is calculated on the base of drawings this calculated percentage they will give on the base of drawings it is calculated on the base of drawings okay it is calculated on the base of drawings so it is an income company point of view i have to think company point of view it is an income then balance sheet from uh, capital you have to minus if interest on drawings drawings is there their amount will decrease interest on capital is there their amount will increase but drawings interest on drawings they have to give so their amount will decrease okay profit and interest on drawings company is income drawings suppose 10000 in the trial balance so adjustments interest on drawings interest on drawings at the rate of suppose uh, 5 percentage 5 percentage so profit and loss account so profit and loss account credit side by interest on drawings by interest on drawings 500 how to calculate 
ten thousand into on the base of drawings five percentage. It is very easy. Then balance sheet, balance sheet, interest on capital, interest on drawings with capital only. Capital. Suppose uh, uh, one lakh last two steps we wrote. Add how to do hard net profit less net loss if it is there. Add interest on capital. Add interest on capital less same question less drawings. So same question. Interest on capital is there and interest on drawings also there. Then you have to do like that less interest on drawings. Okay, so uh, in restaurant drawings, okay, capital add net profit, add in restaurant capital less drawings. Uh, suppose in this question, ten thousand drawings, ten thousand in restaurant drawings five hundred. Okay, so capital add net profit. Suppose. The same question: interest on capital and interest on drawings is drawings and interest on capital and interest on drawings is there. Capital add net profit. If it is net loss, less add interest on capital, less drawings, less interest on drawings. Okay, no. So next class we will discuss one one more adjustment that is uh, managers coming.